happy people i'm back with another video and welcome back to nail therapy thursday um today i'm going to be showing you all how to apply dip powder using the gel method so i recently hauled a couple of beetles dip powder kits and one of my favorite ways to apply dip powder is by using uh, gel polish or gel liquids and so i'm going to show you all how to do that really quick so today is going to be my valentine's day look um i am going to be doing some v-day nails and let me just hop right on into this tutorial and show you what you all need so i'm going to be using two of my dip powders from beetles um these were a part of um the two collections that i hauled in my most recent um, Beetles dip powder haul so I'm gonna be using these two colors here um, I'm also going to be using the Beetles uh, base coat and top coat so this is what I'll be using to apply my dip powder with you're also going to need some cupcake liners and this is just to make life easy and less messy You'll need a cuticle pusher to clean up around your cuticle line. And that's about it, you guys. I absolutely love using this method to um, do my dip powder nails because it's just so quick and easy and simple for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put my base coat in here. Also, too, when doing this method, make sure you have a designated base coat and top coat specific for dip powders um, because you don't want to contaminate the regular dip. I mean, you don't want to contaminate the gel polishes you normally use. Um, so yeah, uh, these two in particular, I don't even know if you can see that on the lid, but I kind of wrote dip on it <laughs> with the permanent marker. But yeah, here's my base coat here. I'm going to just get it prepped and open. And this one is running really low, so I'm actually almost done with this. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first thing you want to do is apply a layer of your base coat. And you want to make it kind of like a generous coat because you actually want the you want to have something for the powder to um, adhere to and so yeah so i'm gonna do a nice thin coat here and then i'm gonna get my dip powder which i should have already had open and then i have my cupcake liner and all you want to do is pour it over like so and you'll want to keep doing that until you see that the powder has fully absorbed into the nail. Point down and then tap off the excess. And that's literally it. So I'm going to go through and put a little bit more on. Tap off the excess. Like so. And then flash cure for 10 seconds. Okay. So that's been flash cured. I'm going to move on to the next nail. So actually, this is my first time. I mean, this is my first time applying um, dip powder over top of a um, full cover tips. I normally have um, only ever done dip powder on my natural nails. And so um, it's going to be inter interesting to see um, how the dip powder application is over the full co cover tips. But I feel like it's pretty much going to be the same, right? So that's that. And actually, let me go ahead and get my second color here. I just remembered. I'm going to be using this beautiful white color. So these are the two colors that I feel like got the most compliments in the video. So that's why I decided to go with these. And this one actually has a little shimmer to it. So I'm just going to pour that over. Like so. And with this, since it has glitter, I'm actually just going to press down just a little bit. Stay from the frame. Okay. Press down just a little bit just to try and get those glitters to stick and then tap off the excess and you see how the glitters are on there now like so so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that a little bit more here at the top so yeah while the powder is still sitting on top of the nail you just kind of want to press it into that gel base and again that's to help get those glitters to stick so yeah that looks good to me And then flash cure for 10 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing my nails here on camera with you guys. And I will be right back, okay? So I actually forgot that I was gonna be doing these two nails white. So what I'm gonna do is go through and do these three fingers pink. And then I'm gonna come back and do these two fingers white. And I'm gonna go over this application process again with these glitters. But for just a solid color, again, you'll just wanna coat the full nail in a base coat, a gel base coat. 
Then you wanna make sure none of it is touching your skin. If it is, you wanna wipe that up. And then again, you wanna take the dip powder here and just pour it over. Y'all, this method is so simple and so easy. And what I love about it is that it doesn't really require much filing at all. So you all will see here shortly that once I finish these two coats of dip, I really don't even need to file the nail down, which is probably my favorite part about this method. <laughs> and sometimes too, I'll just let the powder just kind of sit so that it can absorb into the gel. And then I'll just tap off again. So you see how that, that has a nice even coat. And over here, it looks it still looks a little bit wet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it a little bit more, let it sit for a little bit, and then tap off. And I see that I got some on my skin over here, so I'm gonna go in with my cuticle stick and just clean up that cuticle line, like so. Okay, so you'll wanna go ahead and fully cure for 60 seconds now. So the nails have been cured for 60 seconds. Now what you wanna do is go through and wipe off the uh, powder from the nails. Um, and I like to use actually a hard dust brush for that because since it's gel polish, once it cures, it is gonna be nice and solid. And so you really don't even have to worry about it smudging or worry about it drying or anything like that because it's gel polish, right? So once you cure it, it's set in place. And so you wanna go through and just repeat that process. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second coat of the base coat here. And with this, again, you wanna apply a generous coat. Okay, so that's what two coats of the dip powder looks like after it's been plash cured. And I'm gonna go ahead and go and do my pinky. Okay, so now that that's been fully cured, you see how those nails are looking? They're looking nice and good. I'm gonna go through and just wipe off the dust. Okay, so that's these two nails with two coats of that pink. And now I'm gonna go through and do the second coat of the white and then do two coats of white on this one. Um, I, like I said, I had forgot that I was getting ready to do two white nails here in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how to do the second coat on here. You can see the glitter as well, but it's slightly different when applying dip powder to like a glitter nail because um, you'll wanna make sure that you um, kind of press down on the glitters after you've uh, kind of uh, poured the powder over because in particular when working with the glitters, you'll want to have like a paper towel to wipe off that excess so that the glitters don't contaminate your dip powder. You'll want to take your dip powder again and go ahead and pour over. And again, with pouring over, you just want to press the top of the powder before you actually dust off all of it. And that's just gonna help you get those glitters inside of that gel polish. So you can see that. And then you wanna make sure you do that for the entire nail. I'm probably gonna go in with three coats of this glitter here. Let's see. So that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and flash through this for 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna go in with the next nail. Okay, so this is what it looks like after you pour over and press the glitters in. Looking nice and good. And go ahead and fully cure for 60 seconds.
it. So this is how these two nails are looking. So you will definitely want to make sure you go through and clear cap your glitter pot, your glitter nails. The other nails are kind of optional to clear cap. Um, I think I might do them just to add a little bit of thickness. So I want to show you all how to clear encapsulate a dip powder nail. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to take a clear acrylic of your choice. You can take a clear dip powder. This is just a really old Kiss clear acrylic powder I got from one of their little kits from Walmart. And I'm just trying to get through the rest of this uh, powder here. And so what you'll want to do is you want to fully coat the nail in your base coat. Okay. So you'll fully coat the nail like so. Okay, and then once it's been fully coated, you wanna take your cupcake liner here and just literally pour the clear over. So with this clear, right, you don't want to really encapsulate more than once. So you only wanna do this once. So make sure you get it fully coated the first time because when you do multiple coats of the clear, it tends to cause the um, design, the powder, the glitters to look very, very, very cloudy. So you want to just pour over once, like so. Tap off the excess. And then go ahead and fully cure for 60 seconds. All right, you guys. So this is what the dip powder nails are looking like thus far. So I did go ahead and go in with a third coat of the pink. And then um, I went ahead and clear capped the two glitter nails. And I also did the thumbnail off camera. So what you want to do to create the surface for you to actually work on as far as like if you want to add any designs or anything like that is you want to apply a layer of gel base coat and then apply two layers of gel top coat and then once you do that you're all set for whatever application you want to have so i'm going to go in with my gel base here and just apply a thin coat and what this is gonna do is it's gonna help the top coat adhere to the dip powder. And then it's also going to allow for, um, it's gonna also help you fill in those little grooves that's within the dip powder on the surface of the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead, go through and do this. Okay, so once you have the base coat on, oops, I think I missed a spot on this nail here. Okay, so once you have the base coat on all the nails, what you will want to do now is clean up any areas that might have gotten gel on them. So over here, it got on my skin a little bit. And then from there, you'll want to go ahead and flip over for 10 seconds. This is to allow the gel to fill in the circles. Do that for about 10 seconds and then cure for 60. So that's what the first layer of base coat is looking like. Next, you'll want to just go in with your top coat. And with the dip powder nails, when you do the top coat, it's okay to apply a generous amount because like I said, it's going to actually fill in. Um... Okay. But yeah, so you want to apply a generous amount because the more you apply, the more those um, areas get filled in. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the top coat to all the nails and I'll be right back. Once the top coat is on, you do the same thing. Flip over for 10, cure for 60. All right, you guys. You see how nice and smooth she looks? Isn't she gorge? Okay, so now at this point, if you want to, you can go in with the second top coat, but honestly, um, I've applied enough as to where I don't even think I need to do a second top coat. So if you all were wanting to do just a basic dip powder with gel, this would be your finished look. But y'all know me, I gotta go in and blink it out, add a little charm or two. So that's what, gonna, that's what we're gonna do right now. So this is a Valentine's Day set. So I have me some Valentine's Day decor. I have some I love you and some cute little lips. I was originally gonna use this cute little teddy bear right here. I got these from Shein, but 
Honestly, they didn't look right with what I wanted to do, so I had to improvise here on the spot. And then I'm also gonna use these beautiful heart stickers that I got from Shein. Actually, all of this nail art is from <laughs> Shein. So yeah, I'm gonna use that. And the lips actually came in this little pinwheel here. So there were some lips right here in the pinwheel. And so that's what I ended up using. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this. Y'all know my favorite adhesive to use to apply any type of charms and such to my nail is my Beatles Nail Glue. So the I Love You, I'm planning on putting right here on the nail. So I'm gonna apply just a little bit of nail glue. And I'm gonna just put it right in the center. A nice generous amount. Okay. And then from there, I'm gonna take my wax pencil and just place the charm. And I'm gonna have it facing me. And so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this in place for 10 seconds. Okay, so that's been flash cured in place. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my little lips. So because these lips are actually really thin, I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply them with gel top coat, simply because I don't really need too much to get it to stay in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put another layer of top coat on this middle nail here. Uh, actually no, I don't wanna do that. Okay, so I changed my mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this nail glue and put it on my cuticle stick. And what I'm gonna do is put it pretty much where I want the little lips to go. So I'm gonna put some here. I'm gonna put some here. I'm gonna put it like right in this area. And then I'm going to put one here. And then the last one is gonna go like right here, like so. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my little my little lips here, y'all. They so cute. So we got one right here. I'll apply one right here. Coat it here. Yep, just like that, and then I'm gonna cure that in place. Okay, so now I've applied the beautiful little lips here on the middle finger, and I have the I Love You. Next, I'm just gonna go in with my stickers here and apply it to these two nails. I already did the thumb, so that's just a sneak peek here. Yeah, so that's what the thumb looks like. And I'm gonna do that to these other two fingers. So you'll just want your tweezers, and you'll apply the hearts, just kinda really any way you want them to be on the nail. Okay, so I was having a hard time with this pinky and I scraped off the sticker like two or three times. So yeah, but this is what the hearts are looking like on the other nails. The last thing you wanna do after you make sure you press it in nice and good is you'll wanna go ahead and uh, apply a gel top coat over the stickers just to seal them in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and top coat all of these fingers. You'll want to go over your charm with a little bit of top coat as well, just to kind of seal it. All right, you guys. This is what Miss Valentine's Day is looking like, okay? So what I am going to do is I'm going to go in and clean up my cuticle area. I don't know that I've shown this in any of my videos, but this is a, a tool that I got from Shein, and this is what I actually use to clean up my cuticle. So you see how you got how I got some dip powder here. I got some on my skin over here. 
I got some right here. I never actually worry about that during the actual application. Even over here you can see. I just honestly just go in with this thing. It's almost like a curved file. And then I just kind of file and shape it. So that it's just not touching my skin. And then this I'll use to kind of pick the the powder off the skin as well. So this is just my cleanup here. You see how that just took everything off of the sidewall there? I have a little bit right here. Again, just go in and just file that down. And it comes right off the skin, you see? And so I'm gonna go ahead and do this as well. Okay, so you see how now that looks nice and clean? Mm -hmm. So now the pinky is clean. And all the rest, the rest of them look good too. All right, you guys. So this is how she is looking. These are my V-Day nails. They nice, they soft, slightly luxe, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some cuticle oil here to keep my cuticles nice and hydrated. All right, ain't she cute though? Yeah, I'm feeling this set. It's nice, it's simple, slightly looks, okay? And then this is what the thumbnail is looking like. Yes, yes, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if there's any other um, application methods that you all wanna see me try. Um, I know that I really enjoy doing dip powder nails um, with gel liquids it just make my life it just makes my life so much easier so yeah this is how the beetles dip powder kit performed and i'm really liking the kit you know um the dip powders are really nice um the only thing is is you might have to do like one extra layer of dip than you would some of the other dip powders but they perform beautifully i've done a set with this previously and it lasted up to three weeks and i will leave that video linked down in the description box so if you all want to check that out you can but i did some all white nails and they lasted for three weeks and it was actually really hard for me to get off my nails so if you use the beetles gel base and top coat and then um, use the Beatles dip powders. So these right here in combination with each other, this stuff lasts for three weeks. Like I said, I do have a review on my channel showing um, the longevity of it. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday videos where I premiere a video every Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And y'all can watch me do my nails and we can chat in the comments and talk about the coolness that we're seeing, okay? As always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.